Hello, my name is Janice Miller-Young and I'm the Academic Director for the Centre for Teaching and Learning. This short video is meant to tell you about the tea leaf review process and give you some tips for a successful proposal. First, it's important to know your audience. So note that the Adjudication Committee is chaired by the Vice Provost Learning Initiatives, has representation from Information Services and Technology, Research, and the Centre for Teaching and Learning, as well as two other faculty members, one graduate student and one undergraduate student. In other words, it is not likely that many of us will be experts in the topics you teach, so it is critical that you avoid disciplinary jargon and write for a multidisciplinary audience. If you're not used to doing so, you may want to ask a friend or a colleague outside your discipline to give you some feedback before you submit your application. It goes without saying that the proposal should be clear, well-written, and well-organized. And using the review criteria, you want to be able to convince us why your project is the best use of tea leaf funds. Remember, the purpose of this fund is to create exceptional learning experiences and environments for our students. The review criteria are innovation, collaboration, sustainability, impact on students, evaluation, dissemination, and of course, some budget and timeline constraints. So how is your project innovative? What is new and different about what you are proposing? You may want to explain your context a little here, as what is innovative in one discipline, or in a large class, for example, might not be so innovative in another context. A brief review of the literature will also be helpful here. Normal course development activities will not be funded. For example, please do not provide a list of content for which online resources will be created. Instead, make sure your proposal is learner-focused. How is the innovation going to improve things for students, either their learning or their experience, or give them flexibility, or all of the above, or something similar, whatever it is? If you are using any pedagogical terms that might be interpreted differently in different disciplines or contexts, make sure you describe those explicitly as well. A great way to show that the project is going to have broad impact is to show how it extends beyond just you and your course. Tell us how you are collaborating within your department, the university, or even beyond. Get students involved. Not only could it be great work and a good learning experience for them, but you might find they actually offer perspectives you hadn't even considered yet. Proposals are definitely stronger when you can demonstrate that these conversations and collaborations are occurring. On a related note, you'll need an evaluation plan. How will success of the project be measured? You'll want to draw upon your literature review here. How rigorous the research methodology needs to be depends a little on the project. We don't expect that the results of every project are going to be published in a research journal. But if you do plan to do that, then say so, and then the methodology piece will probably be a little more important for you. For those of you who plan to disseminate in less formal ways, for example at disciplinary conferences or at a teaching conference, you'll at least want to make sure you have an assessment plan that aligns your goals and evaluation methods, and that the assessment includes evidence from students. Demonstrate how the proposed activity has the potential for sustained improvements in educational outcomes. We're looking in terms of sustainability for optimal use of existing resources and a benefit to a significant number of students, not only now, but hopefully in the future as well. And of course, how is the project going to continue to operate or provide those benefits beyond the funding period of the Tea Leaf Grant? When you're thinking about impact, you'll likely want to think about quantitative and qualitative measures here. How many students will benefit from the project, as I said? But also, will it lead to broader cultural change in the department, for example, or maybe even the faculty or the university? But again, remember to focus on how it will improve student learning and the student experience. We definitely want you to disseminate your results, but the related cost shouldn't be more than 10% of the total project budget. Who would benefit from hearing about your work? You'll probably want to make some presentations within your department or your faculty. You may want to partner with CTL to deliver a workshop that's available to the rest of the institution. And we hope you'll present at the Festival of Teaching and Learning. 
think about newer and less traditional ways of disseminating as well, especially if you are planning to reach students, for example, or possibly the community. So there's lots of online possibilities as well. If you're applying for tea leaf seed funding, the criteria are similar, but we're really trying to provide some resources with a low barrier to application so that instructors can experiment a little before getting started on something bigger. So just keep that in mind. On the other hand, if you think the project is going to be leveraged up into a big tea leaf or a research project, be sure to tell us that as well. And of course, as you would in any grant application, you need to be specific about budget and timelines. Align your budget with the fiscal year. And we have lots of templates, example Gantt charts and things like that on the Tea Leaf website. So make sure you check those out. Just note that new project speed code activation can take two to three weeks after the project is approved and all conditions, for example, you might need ethics clearance, are satisfied. So just make sure to plan for that. I think those are my best tips for you. So I will look forward to seeing your wonderful ideas for improving teaching and learning at the University of Alberta. If you're dying to know more about the adjudication process, you can listen on for just two more minutes. Prior to our adjudication meeting, of course, any conflicts of interest are identified and each grant is reviewed by all the committee members. Before we meet, we each independently give a summary score and an overall comment of yes, maybe, or no in advance of the meeting. And then at the meeting, any committee members with conflicts of interest leave the room. Primary reviewer gives an overall summary of their thoughts. Secondary reviewer adds some comments. And then the proposal is discussed by the committee. And we really discuss them in depth and try to make all our decisions by consensus. That's worked so far. We do discuss all proposals. There's a couple of possibilities in terms of the final decisions. You may receive full funding for your project. Wouldn't that be wonderful? You could receive partial funding. Let's say if we think for some reason that the budget is not reasonable for the project, or perhaps there's an element of the project that's not truly critical, or it may be that someone on the committee is aware of another resource somewhere else that you might be able to use, say, rather than buying your own equipment. You could also receive conditional funding, although that's a little less common now that we have the seed grants. For something that might be conditional, we would expect you to go through the seed grant process first. You should also know that we may come back to you and ask for clarification on something before completing the review. So if there's any questions we haven't answered, you can contact Curtis Champagne. He's the program manager for the Tea Leaf Awards program here at the Centre for Teaching and Learning. He can help you with the basics, or if you're looking for some pedagogical advice or some assessment advice, you can come in and talk to one of our faculty or academic staff. Best way to do that is to request a consultation by going to the CTL website and clicking the request for consultation button. Thank you.